What's going on everyone? Michael Drug Gaming here bringing you episode 11 of our Pokemon Scarlet Surprise Trade Lock. In the last episode, we defeated our second Titan, the Bombardier, made our way here to the gates of the Team Star Dark crew, and we did a couple surprise trades, and in today's episode, we are going to infiltrate our first Team Star base, so if you're excited for that, and if you want to show your love and support, make sure you smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss out on anything here on Michael Druck Gaming. Here is the squad, I'm going to make Fido our lead for this, it hasn't changed, we are staying the same, we are ready to go. So, let's, let's just, you know, we're just going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm going to charge in here. I'm going to charge in here. Apparently, this is not exactly where it starts. I saw the flags for the Team Star base, so I kind of thought that was where it was starting. Aha! I see the gates. I see the gates. I see the gates. I see an item, too. A Swablu protect- oh, okay. I just learned the item! I just learned the item! <clears throat> Cassiopeia here. <clears throat> I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? That's right. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Who, who, who are you? <laughs> the name's Clive. Oh? And how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Michael? Maybe? Ah, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse hope. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Penny! <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. Oof. Man, got something weird in my throat. Team Star and I. Sure, some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you for. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each one of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front face of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes, I can see them. On the other side of those is the base proper, and somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Dun dun dun! Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Michael. They're basically declarations of war. <laughs> now all of Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses, then step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what's happened. It's a solid base. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. 
your garden variety trainers would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Michael. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they are hiding. <laughs> first things first, I'm the realist. You'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with you, Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Michael's support. You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Hey! Well, go get him, Michael. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh no, you look a little suspicious there, Clive. Whoa. Just wanted... Just wanted my items. You need to tell me you literally took me the whole way from up here. You literally took me all the way down there from up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not to the base. I'm trying to avoid the number. Yeah, so those Team Star goons are blocking our way. So, obviously, it's going to be Fido. Dene may be for Dark, but he doesn't have any uh, Fairy-type moves, unfortunately. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you! Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark crew. You may know us as the Segan Squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up! Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Michael kid? You know that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war, war on Team Star? Maybe. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. You know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? Bring it on. Sassy kids like you are the worst, that's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. I don't know how they what they do. <laughs> but I really do like that. Alright, Fado, come on. Let's play rough. It only has one mon. Nice job, Fido. Easy. Easy money. Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Bro, why you gotta, like... How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista! She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Uh, well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad a heads up. <laughs> He's just, just going to also just dip. Cool. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Segan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even a declaration of war won't have ruffled him the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. 
Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Segan squad off the map. Oh, We do need to heal our Fido. That's true. And then I think what I'll do is... Let's put you in third. Ah! There we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see an item. I see an item. x -Patek. When I see x -Patek, you know what I think of? Sign. I heard a gimmick. Okay, whatever. Let's do it. Ding, ding, ding. Come on, Fido. Here from now, Michael. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The ones you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Heads up, gang! Some some kid has wandered in here thinking that they can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget to our unwanted guest. You can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Beat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon, whoa! Sorry, I'm just looking for my goals. Maybe they won't show up until afterwards. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 Fido. Yeah, I gotta go. Go in the vending machine. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Ten more to go, ten more to go. Come on, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Nice going, nice going. Whoa, Fido, again. Four more, four more. Come on, guys, come on. Come on, fam, come on. I see a group of nimble right here. There we go. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I hate fighting these bosses.
the rubber rooms. Giacomo, I guess that's how you say his name. I still have no idea. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Michael, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to our outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Alright, DJ Vice. What you got for me, DJ Vice? Besides a long loading screen. Starts off with a Pawniard. Ah! Fido, no. No, Fido. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Nope, nope. Um, Let's go, Croc. Come on, Croc. This beat will, this beat drop will bust your ears open. DJ Vice bringing the house down. Oh, we missed the Metal Claw. Let's go, let's go. And we are going to incinerate. Only Iron has Aerial Lakes. Okay. <laughs> How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Oh, nice. And we have Reverum. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Uh, I don't like this. Intimidate, that's fine. Hmm. I guess I could go in. I guess I could go back to Fido here. Come on, Fido. Come on back. For the Seagin Starmobile. Come on back. Metal sound. Okay, that's fine. We avoided the attack, though. Let's go, Fido. Let's go, Fido. Metal sound again. That's just going to lower my defenses, right? My spit F? Yeah, by two. Ooh. Dang, even a play rough. Metal sound again. I don't like this. I'm getting... I'm minus four now, Spadef. I don't want you to start firing off attacks on me. You're gonna swift? Oh, we live. We live in. We live in. We live in. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We got to switch. We got to switch. Um, I'm gonna go into Skip Bloom here because I have Fairy Wind. Good job, Fido. Come on, Skip. Come on, Skip. Snarl. Okay, that did 16. My Spatak fell. Are we serious, brother? Now, so now you're lowering my Spadak. Come on, Skip. Come on, Skip. Wow, that really didn't do much at all. Ah! 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 Oh my god! You stop! Gotta switch again! Um. I must want, kinda wanna go Gibble here. I'm gonna go Gibble. See what happens. If I need to heal up uh, Fido, I will. If I need to heal up Fido, I will. Yeah, I don't see how... Gibble's really gonna take out... You know. I don't see how Gibble's gonna take him out, so I'm gonna heal up Fido. Wicked Torque! Oh, okay. Sure. Now I'm gonna switch up back up to Fido. Yeah, snarl me all you want. Snarl me all you want. Come 
Get toward, I'm assuming we resist. We do resist, and then we fly her off a of play rough. Metal sound, you're just gonna start lowering my spadef again? That's fine, though. That's fine. Play rough comes through, and Fido takes out the Seagan Starmobile. Nice job, Fido. Guess that's that. Flashback. Flashback. I was gonna say, we gotta have sepia tone if it's a flashback. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! You come up with some great code with us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know how. But you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everybody, and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after all, like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no farther than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. The point exactly. So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near, near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. We've earned our trust many times over. Without you, team starters wouldn't work. That stuck up student council prizes and who you are anymore, man. A code written by Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? We get the Team Star Dark Badge. I'll give you this choice TM too. You've earned it fair and square. Get the TM for foul play. Nice. That's the sound party ends. Let's talk about this Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy, like what moves you should use and stuff? Nope. <laughs> okay, you like it at the academy? Having fun? No kid. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Well, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You, you get a quackswell to you get a quackswell to style that up for you. I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks. I'll get straight to it. it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending classes at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. Pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where's this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from them um, in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe this big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really important to you, hmm? Huh? <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They are my greatest treasure. <gasps> he used the treasure! Oh, he used the treasure! Tagline, whoa! Alright, so we are done with our first Team Star base, and now it is time. We're going to be heading to the Electric Gym. <clears throat> Michael. It's Cassiopeia. It seems that Giacomo no longer carries a star badge. The symbol has a status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? I see. With his boss out of the picture, the Seagan squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. 
sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I will transfer some LP on it to your phone as promised. Hey, thanks. Cool. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM Machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply units will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Where who it could be? <gasps> it's Eevee Backpack Girl! H hello I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. <laughs> oh, so you do remember. But um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Got my Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. It seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so uh, good luck. Oh my god, give me that Eevee backpack. Alright, 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 alright. We are not all healed up, which is fine. But we are heading not to Kaskarafi yet. Not yet. We're actually going all the way. Oh, wow. We're actually going all the way over here now to Iono. That is going to be our next destination. Wow, that's a, quite a ways away. It's quite a ways away, but that's all right. That's okay. So we are right here. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going I am going to explore the base a little bit. Aha! I thought I heard one of you around. Maybe we do have some time and then we can start heading our way over. What is it, Lavincia, I think? Is that the name of the town? Space is huge! Space is definitely very large. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Gimme Goo. The base, like, extends all the way up here. It's nuts how large these bases are. Let's blast our way up. Oh, oh, T am for Encore and say I heard a Gimigoo. I saw one. Okay, that looks to be it. Um, what I'm going to do is, I guess I can fly to Artisan and then start making our way down to Lavincia. That's probably what I'm going to do. Let me bring up the document here. Um, East Province Area 1. We already do have an encounter there, but we do not have an East Province Area 2. So I'm gonna fly to Artisan. Hey. 
And Iono is going to be level 24. Level 24 for Iono. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's start making our way down this way. It's province area one. Yeah, we already did get an encounter here. I do remember that. I can see Lavincia. I mean, it's kind of hard not to see Lavincia. I mean, there's a Terradin literally right here. I don't know if it's water or electric. Whoa, 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 guys, 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 chill. Why? Why do you not, why, why you not healed? Why you not healed? Oh, it's fly, it is flying, okay. I did not do any Terradens in East Province. So East Province area one, flying Terradin. And we're gonna make the Dene first again. Hmm, as far as Iono, an electric type gym leader. Man. It's a flying type mudbray. I'm not sure. Actually, possibly Gibble. Gibble will probably be the. Gibble will probably be the one. Hey, okay, wow, we have quite the team here. Can everybody ready up, please? Ruben, Ven, Sasuke. Got a Dragonite from Ven. Wow. My drag. Hey, come on, Ruben. Come on, Ruben. We don't have all day here, bud. We don't have all day here. Let's go. I have a feeling this is going to go by very quickly. To my bray! Go, everybody! Go, Thunder Shock! Dragonite Thunder Punch, wow, and then I just took it out. Cool. Ruben and Sasuke did nothing. I mean, it's fine. Come on, my bro. Come on, my bro. Come on, my bro. I'm so weird. Nice, we got the mud bray. Cool. I just love, I just love, you know, sitting around waiting for loading screens. It already has the M, so we just go D. Gaming. Bam. Send to our boxes. We got the mud bray. 
Let's surprise trade it right away. We're going to do it right now. Right here. Right now. We are surprise trading away the Mudbray. That is a flying Terra type. So as long as whatever we get is 27 or lower. Yes, Iono is 24. So our level cap is 27 for our surprise trades. And it's already completed. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Do, 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 do. All right, my bright, you get a Sprigatito. Actually, we already have a shiny Sprigatito. We do have a shiny Sprigatito. Unfortunately, we are going to have to trade it back. Because that is dupes. We have our shiny Sprigatito right here. With Protean, too. Wow. Alright, Sprigatito. Alrighty, wow. Nice. That was from... Actually, that was right here. East Province Area 1. We got the Sprigatito. Uh, that's funny. To 10 6. Okay. 10 6 is getting our Sprigatito, and in return, we get an Eevee. I have no idea what Pokeball that is. That's a cool design. Oh, Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. Obviously, that is dupes. Adaptability. Yes, we will surprise trade our Eevee. Second Eevee. Technically, third Eevee because I have an Eevee upstairs. Probably sitting at the window watching all the birds. All right, come on. What are you getting? Ash! We're surprise trading with Ash! Is it going to be a Pikachu? Is it going to be a Pikachu? Great ball with a Petalil. Okay. Ash. Freaking Ash. So we got the Petalil. I'm not too thrilled, but I mean, it is what it is. It is level one. Absorb growth and chlorophyll. Okay. So that's going to be our surprise trade for here. Uh, pet a little. Nope. Hey, okay, come on. Come on. We're wasting time, We're wasting time. Get down here to this Pokemon Center. Oh, oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? All these Peltan Taros. You do you see that we have a team star base right there too? There's a bug pterodon. You know what? Whoa, they just like rushed all the way into the Pokemon, so you're not allowed to do that. We're gonna do one more. I'm gonna do a bug tear it in. So we have East Province Area 1 Bug Terra Den with a deerling. 
Maybe. Is nobody doing bug teradens? Oh, we got T.I. Chris with a Dragonite. Let's go. Oh, come on. It's only one star. You know how easy this would be? I have to back out. I'm gonna give it 30 seconds until one and a half minutes. So I'll back on the clock. If no one else, then I'm gonna just back out and we'll call it a day. Oh, we have Saros with the Coridon. Don't back out on me now. Don't back out on me. Don't back out on me, Saros. You know what? I'm just gonna start the rain battle. Come on, come on. I just love loading screens that take forever. Oh, man. The Bug Deerling. Not the greatest, but you know what? Whatever. A Rockruff and a Gradient. No, a Squobat, actually. It's not even a Gradient. All right, incinerate the Deerling. Go! Don't double kick me. Scovet's rolling out. Oh, big damage, big damage, big damage. What's the Coridon doing? The Coridon's doing absolutely nothing. We got the Deerling. Or we will have the Deerling. Yo, Pokeball! So I do know that in the next episode we will get Area 2 from East Province, Area 2. And then that will probably be our only encounter. I don't think we can get an encounter in Lavincia. I don't really think you can get encounters in cities and towns now. Unless we can get, like, unless something's in the water, maybe. Maybe. We got the Deerling in the Terradan. We're just gonna skip on. And that is where we're going to wrap it up today. In the next episode, we will start things off with a surprise trade. We will start things off with a surprise trade, head over to Lavincia, and get some encounters on the way, and maybe even take on I- Oh no, so if you're excited for that, and if you want to show your love and support, make sure you smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe, so you don't miss out on anything here on Michael Truck Gaming. But, I hope that you- have a great rest of the day, wherever you are in the world, because you deserve it. I'm Michael Drook Gaming. You're awesome. I will talk to you in the next episode. Peace!